Hey everyone, this is Gina from the Embroidery Zone, and I wanted to show you how I digitized a custom motif to make a rope border instantly. It's so handy. I just took a photo of a curtain tie back that I had that looked like a rope, and I'm going to zoom in on that, and I'm going to lock that image in place by pushing K on the keyboard, and you can see it's locked right here. Let's pull that out of the way. And I'm going to use my column B tool. And I'm going to check my settings. I want my auto spacing to be 100%. I don't want any underlay of any kind. My pull comp I usually use at about 0 0.20 millimeters, and I'm happy with that. So I'm going to zoom in on one little loop. And I'm going to start down here at the bottom, left clicking until I get this shape. I'm going to end it right here, push enter, go back to the beginning and do the top portion, and then push enter. And there we have it. Let's go up here and get that rope image off the screen. And I'm going to select that object and I'm going to select the reshape tool. And I'm going to edit my start and stop points. Actually, I think I'm going to make this a little curvier. Yeah, like that. And I want the design to start right here, where that green square is. But I want it to stop right about here, I would say. OK. Now I'm going to go up to Object, Create Motif. And I'm going to store this in I have a couple of folders. It's a little confusing. The yeah, Gina motifs, that's fine. I'm going to call this three border. I've made a bunch of these. And say OK. And then down here on the prompt line, it's going to tell me to enter the starting point of the reference line. I'm going to start it right where that dot is. Left click there. And then it also tells me to enter the end point of the reference line. I'm going to hold down my control key to restrain my line. And I'm going to have it stop there where I put it before. So it has now created my rope 3 border has been created and saved in Gina Motifs. So I'm going to say OK. And now, to show you how that works, I'm just going to digitize an open shape. Let's just make a straight line. Click Enter. And there we have the line. Let's get rid of this little guy. And we'll click Stitch Player and watch it redraw. Or that there are, I have stops and trims clicked because I don't want it to stop at all. I just want it to continually run. I think I had it too large on the screen. It kind of blipped. So let's play that again. That's great. And it also works really well for making an ellipse, which is very handy. And I'm going to just make a little bit of an oval shape. Click Enter. Oh, that is so awesome. Now let's do the stitch player again. Let's get rid of this guy. And I'm going to push, uh, push zero on my screen so we get a full view. And go ahead and run the stitch player. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The only problem I had, as you can probably tell right here, is this last motif kind of scoots over the top of the others. I tried a couple of different things. If you go over here into uh, outlines, I tried getting rid of the last motif so I wouldn't, it wouldn't jump over like that, but I don't like it. And I think it's better to just leave it like that. If you have a tip for me how to get rid of that, I, I know they can be adjusted. I'm going to get it off of True View here and put it my reshape tool on there so you can actually pick that last where was it that last border right here 
and kind of mess around with it. But it seems like no, no matter what I did, it just didn't look good. So I hope that helps. If you found some value in this video, I would appreciate it if you would leave a comment and subscribe and let me know that you did. We'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.